today we did an update on a 942 and I was out testing uh, N trip today. I pushed on this button for way lines and uh, look at this coverage guidance is now available. So if that's green up there, it's a check mark. And then I have my trigger on green minus here. That'll start my mapping. So if I push that down, drive forward, I start mapping here. Get down to the end of my field, hit the plus, start stops mapping, and then uh, all of a sudden I have way lines appearing. I turn, get lined up on my next side of the field, drop my implement in the ground, start mapping. drives down the other end of the field. I'll just do a short one here so the video isn't too long. Come down the end of my field, stop, raise my implement up, and then I have another line all the way up here. I can do this basically on four sides of the field. So I get turned around on the other end. Drop it in the ground, drive, stop, back up, and then there's, let's say, my west side of the field, and then turn and go on the other side of the field, the long side. You can see on the left side there, I already have a dark brown line that I could come back on. Then as soon as I come down here, I can stop, raise up. Now I have a line there. So if I turn, you can see I got a line populated in there. But then I'll turn back down this first line that I got, drive onto the brown line, engage my auto steer, and you know get over there on my line, and then drop it, my implement in the ground, and now it's steering based off of uh, coverage map. I know a few of you, a few of you guys have been asking about this. Fed tractor and so I finally realized that it's here. Enjoy.